back to another vlog. I'm going to take you through a little weekend in my life. We have some fun things planned. First of all, I have Austin here this weekend, so that's exciting. And today, right now, all dressed up, me and my best friend, Victoria, are going to go take her graduation photos. Like, I just can't even believe that this is really happening. It's getting so surreal and just, it's so close. We graduate in December, but obviously we're in Buffalo, so there could be like six feet of snow on the ground. So we want to take our photos and look cute now. So we're going to do that today. I will show you my cap that I decorated. Here she is because I'm, I'm a cardiac girly, so we did all cardiac ups and downs were worth it. And then I put some of these, some glitter glue on here. Little gems. And I got this off of Etsy, actually, but I think it's so cute. And then I have my cords from my sash. This is from Sigma. We got inducted into this nurse's association. So it's gonna be a lot with the hood and I have to figure out how to get everything on, but I'm so excited. I'll do a little rundown of the outfit for you guys. Love this dress. Um, this is from Zara. Very cute little silky and just, I wanted something nice and simple because everything's gonna be so high up on the neck and just like a lot going on. And then these shoes are Forever 21. And we gotta keep moving now. But I can't wait. I'm so excited. We literally decided to take photos at the same place as two different weddings. So we are in kind of competition right now. They're over there, we're over here. But it's perfect weather and it looks so cute. They're there doing their thing. Have to get the barbell of our camera. Thank you. Good morning. Today is Saturday. Just getting ready and we're gonna be leaving for Toronto soon. It's nine o'clock now. I think we're gonna leave around 10 and head down there. I think it's about a two hour drive from Buffalo. We're going to get some food and so basically the plan is we have VIP access to the show we're going to see mike i don't i don't know if i said that or not we're going to we're going to a mike concert um love him so so excited to see him like i'm pumped but it's gonna be a long day because i think that we can get in at three it's a small venue so there's not really seats it's kind of like it just walk up and you get wherever you get so we need to get there early so i think we can get in at three the like vip situation he's doing like a q a i think that starts at five then he doesn't actually start the show until like eight or nine so it's gonna be it's gonna be a long night and then we are staying the night in toronto just one night so i have my bag packed i did that this morning and yeah i'm excited just wanted to fill you in Last time we went to Toronto, we were at a concert at Scotiabank, so that's like the main area that everyone knows. We did explore that. We don't really know what we're going to explore today because there's not that much going on. It's like 45 minutes from downtown. We'll see. There's some streets. Do some walking. I'm really hoping it doesn't rain. It's looking pretty gray here, and the weather says that it's going to rain on and off especially tomorrow, so I'm hoping it at least holds off for today. But we'll see. I'm excited to take you along our little adventures. So this is what Raptors play. Is that the hockey? Basketball. Basketball? Yeah. Found our venue. We're going to go find some food. And scavenger hunt starts at 3 o'clock, so we're keeping an eye on his stories. He, like, leaves bags around. We have to try to find them. So uh, I'm hoping we can find one and probably meet him if we do. That'd be sick. But, yeah, we're just hanging out right now. Doing some exploring and... Hey, how are you? <laughs> we're ready. 
I didn't show the outfit, but Austin's rocking shorts and embracing his his mic era. We've been in line since freaking two o'clock. First one's in baby Oh my god. This song means a lot to me. I know I've been talking a lot, I want to say one thing. I made this song sitting with my ass on the edge of a bed in a room that didn't have enough space for a computer and a desk. Um, and I just want to say, um, this song changed my life. And if you have a gut feeling about something, even if it's not materialized in your life yet, and it's not the reality you're living, it doesn't mean it can't come true. You guys are a big part of my dreams coming true. This song is a big part of my dreams coming true. This song's about to be double fucking platinum and I made it in my bedroom. I think it's a timeless concept. All we got are these days, all we have is right now. This one's called These Days, let's go. Can you stay in this fucking room and can we go up one more level for two more fucking songs? Sing this with me, let's go. So, so sorry. Um, we got there at 2. We were the first people in line, which was amazing. And he ended up having to cancel our scavenger hunt that we were going to try to get our free march because it was stuck at customs. But he had um, some connections that got the march across the border eventually. But it, it was quite the time. We stood out there for seven hours, right? No, we no show started. We stood out there for five hours and then the show started at nine. So we got there at two. It started at nine. We got a little private VIP package. So we got some free hats. Mine are in the trunk, but here's one of them. Stevenson Ranch hat. And our VIP tags, but it was it was really amazing. He he did a Q and A, and it was just a small group of us. And he sang one song before the actual concert went on, but it was literally the best concert ever. And we were front and center, like literally dead center. Could not have been any more amazing he's just so good live and the vibes are so high and just just a big old party so definitely worth it we're, we're sore and my throat is killing me but it was worth it big time oh and we got a signed book by him the four agreements so he's all about 
these um what would you call them self-help self books spiritual like books so he handed out a bunch of these books and since we were first in line we got one and he wrote a little note in there and said like these are some of the four things that i live by or like something like that and then signed it so pretty amazing now we're gonna go find some breakfast it's supposed to rain today but it's pretty sunny right now so not sure what we're gonna do but we're gonna head home later Here's our book, The Four Agreements. Live by these and let your life change. I'm like, can't wait to read it. Okay, we made it home from Toronto. It was pretty busy traffic. We just walked around all day and we went to the outlet in Toronto. Then we went to the outlet here, and let me tell you, it's not a good idea to go to the mall when you're. Um, back to school shopping. Everyone was was my mom. Just, it was not crazy. But here's the shirt with the keep going. This is the March shirt that we got. And yeah, just uh, I whipped up some dinner. I got some Cajun chicken pasta. And we're just gonna eat and chill and call it a night because we're sick of walking and sick of standing and just want to be horizontal. <laughs> I realized I never really closed out this vlog. Honestly, we did not do much today at all. It was cold. It dropped yesterday. It was like 80. And today it dropped down to, I think the high was 62. So it felt freezing. It was just rainy and gray. And we just kind of hung low and chilled and watched Netflix and just recovered from our busy weekend. And then also went home and... I've just been editing some YouTube and just taking it easy. Kind of feels like a Sunday, even though it's a Monday. But I think I'm going to head to bed shortly. I think I'm going to dive into my new book. I'm so excited. I think I showed you guys this already, but Mike signed it in here. So I'm very excited to, to read some personal development. And yeah, just get ready for the week. I have to work the next four days, so gotta get ready for that. But I hope you enjoyed our little weekend vlog. Hang out with us. I think it was a really fun weekend. Probably the last good, like really good weekend for summer. And yeah, it was amazing. Concert was amazing. Everything was amazing, but Thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.